Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn and see how we can configure our data wars search using Power Platform Administration feature and how in turn we can leverage the new connector of data wars search into Power Automate which can give us result which can be served or shown into any canvas app with a gallery. So that's what we are going to learn today. So to start with, I am going to open Admin Center using settings and I'll be going to one of my environment so that I can enable the search. I can show you how you can enable the data wars search. Go to environments. I'll pick this XMT environment. And over here, I'll be going to settings. Under products, we'll be having features. And on this feature, we have section as search. So right now you can see I have enabled my this data wars search. So you can actually go through detailed steps over here, how, manage how search works in this environment. You can open it. It will uh, guide you the entire step-to-step -step process, how you can enable the Dataverse search. And as well as after enabling of uh, Dataverse search, how we can select the tables and indexes to be crawled in. So over here, though, like I'm going to guide you, but if you need to go to detailed steps, then you can go through this entire document step-by-step -step process. So let's get back to our enabling of our data was search. So after clicking on this data was search, you can enable this single ta table search option as well. So what it does, it will allow you to provide a shortcut to restrict the search within the one single table. So that also you can have a detailed look. So after enabling this, then we are good to move to our environment back. And I'll be going to the solutions of my this environment. I'll change my environment to is XMT where we have search enabled and from here I'll be searching I'll be actually going to my default solution and I'll directly move to my overview page by clicking this middle button in the left side so now you can see I have this data was search in right hand side and I can click on manage search index so it will give me a pop-up where I can select all my tables which are eligible for searching and I can go scroll down whatever my custom tables are. So in one search, all the records should be served from all these tables. So I'll just search for my finance table also like this table is uh, selected and I have this eight columns added to the index. So if you go to index column, I will just remove this. If you go to index column, you will find all my custom columns as well as this the table I selected for account is uh, index is having index column. So once you create this new index, let's say like you created, you added a new custom table, then it may take 15 to 30 minutes to get the entire crawling done. So just wait for it. And once we are good with the index creation, then we can go ahead with using this search table results. So how to test it? We can simply go to our any of the model driven app. So I'll just pick my any model driven app. Let's say. I'll go to apps. We'll find out one app. Let's say this one is model driven app. I click on this app. I'll just play this one so that I can get a global search bar where which can enable me to search the results. So I have this store global bar. So over here I can search across all my selected tables. So I'll just say test and I should get the results of test so over here i have these three results from my test operation test keyword and the same results we are expecting if we are going to use this data wars search connector into our power automate so after enabling it let's move on to power automate i'll just start by creating one instant cloud flow so that we can see how the search connector actually enables us to create any flow which in turn gives us all the search record into data wars. So I'll just create instant cloud flow. I'll choose manual trigger and this thing the same thing we are going to build into canvas app. We'll be calling one a new flow and that flow should work. So I'll just search for data wars search into our actions and over here we have this search rows as preview feature and it requires premium license. So as soon as I click on that action, I have a way to 
just write in search term so we are just do, going to do testing so the row count we have want the results to be as 2000 and if i do a show all for the advanced properties you will see like i have the capabilities of adding the table filter if i want to restrict my search to the specific table scope and i can very well do that we can just test this flow quickly and then we'll move to power apps actual flow okay so it ran successfully so as an output we got this json and this json i can copy the output body and actually paste it to just have a look detailed look on the body what we got so right now you can see we got this search entity name search object id owner id and the actual name of my entity so this is how i can get this data was search working and now let's move to uh, the actual power apps which we are going to build out with a gallery and we'll tie this power automate with it so that we can show all the search result across tables into one canvas app so i'm just going to create one new app and i'll start with page design as from a blank and over here i'll just use this search button and i'll use one input box and i'll use one text label just show you like what json result we are going to get so i'll just use this one and just do basically like this and ultimately we are going to use this vertical gallery so that i can tie my result into one of the gallery once we get the result out of it so i'll just move it down as well so from this input text and the search button selection we are going to actually call one of the power automate so i'll just go to this left hand side power automate i'll just say create a new flow and we will create it from blank and as a next step we are going to just search for our data was search action and search rows which is in preview and we are going to pass this search term from our power app so i'll just add one text input and which is nothing but we'll be asking this into power apps and we will set this input into our search term and search mode will just say default which is any and row count number of search results we want to be listed so we'll just get the entire result set from it and skip row count the number of search result to be skipped and return row count true or false so i'll just say yes so it will show the number of results relevant results which is fine out of it and lately we'll be doing this respond to power app so that we can capture the json result back to our canvas app so respond into power apps respond to power apps and we'll just say output as text and this is output json and we will add this to the list of search result or list of rows this last one so this would be a json uh, format we'll get back and we will just give it a name search dataverse tables and we'll save this flow so now on this button class button click we will be calling our power automate that is search dataverse table start run and input we are going to pass as our text input dot text and we are going to capture the output into one variable so i'll just say this variable as json i'll say this output and we are going to display this output json into our this text so that we should be assured that we are getting some value so output dot output dot json so it will give us the json value so now we are going to run this and we'll do a test run so i'll just say test 
and I am expecting the JSON returned over here. So you can see we have this JSON returned. So we are good with this uh, Power Automate of data of our search. And now we are going to bind or pass this JSON and bind that to gallery. So for this, I am going to parse row by row. So for that, I'll be using this for all loop and I'll be parsing this as a table field. So for that, I'll just grab which is in turn uh, converted to table so you can see for all loop for all the items then we are using this table and creating this dynamic table columns which can be bound to our gallery so i'll just say this output dot output json and we just found this and over here we will be setting this name of our this item as name and the other text for the sample heading as dot entity name so over here if i just save and run this i'll name that as dataverse search demo and if i run this you can see this test result is showing me this, this is my entity name and you can see like I am getting these search results from multiple entities or tables. So this is my financial custom one. This is account one. And maybe like if this result is, I mean, matching to some other entity table, then we'll get over there as well. So that's how in turn, like we got the JSON result, which we have passed into table with columns. And you can create multiple columns and bind that into table, or you can use the data table as well. So these are use case where I would like to show a search across my dataverse tables and not limited to model driven app, but I wish to like create that into canvas app and use my this dataverse search connector search rows, which is in preview, but very useful feature. So that's how like I feel it's a great feature and you can also play with this and further if you have any questions, I would like to like talk about this new preview connector then please drop your comments i would like to respond to the queries so that is it for today thank you